Bon. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. It knew Deviants could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It will be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner as if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? He's obviously not what I was expecting, but I don't have enough information yet to form a definitive opinion. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will try to establish a friendly relationship. If I can get him to trust me, it will be helpful for the investigation. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. A Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported. It was last last night. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to either side. The Minister for Defense, Dennis Riggs, has spoken of intolerable provocation that cannot go unanswered. The countries in the Called for military forces to withdraw. 
and an international conference was held. So far, there has been no response from either Moscow or Washington. The required for stop and seizure at Detroit Central Station. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Beep. Whatever. Lieutenant Anderson, this is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's almost noon, and I'm waiting for you at the office. Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed, but Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. 
I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. CyberLife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen. I've had just about enough of your bitching. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey! I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. Have a nice day, Captain.